There we go. So you should be seeing my screen now, hopefully. Um, I will be keeping a little eye on the chat as well. Um, so if you have any questions there, you can just um, you can just pop them. That's not a problem. So, so the topic for this session is get started with sales and marketing automation. And I will throughout this session talk a little bit about obviously what it is uh, for people that don't know that. I will give some examples of what it is. I will talk about why you would need something like this if you don't know what it is and we will all, all put it into context. And of course, I will help you with the next step on how to, on how to get started. So let's let's uh, let's get started. <laughs> uh, who am I and who, where am I from? Uh, I uh, I am um, run a marketing company, a full service marketing company, out of Cape Town in South Africa. Uh, generally, we focus on what we like to call holistic marketing. So we take an overview, but uh, often that includes will include lead generation, sales and marketing automation, which is we're going to talk about a lot today, and measurable marketing. It really is integrated all of these topics, and that's why we like to say holistic marketing as well, because it's really integrated what, um, what, um, what the topic is about. Great. Um, we are also, just to also mention that, uh, so I'm going to focus on my sales and marketing automation today, so I will also give you quite a few examples um of a tool uh, so we um so we you can use other tools as well but we are partners with with uh, with a software called keep which is one of these uh, sales and marketing automation softwares so do, i will show quite a few examples from that i will also show some videos where they quite well explain explain a, a few elements but uh, but um you can use you can use any software that has all the different features i'll go through what should you be looking for in the software as well. But a lot of the examples today, you will see that throughout is uh, uh, where I use Elements from Keep and that is just because we are a certified partner of it. So we use it ourselves. Uh, and this is me. Um, I'm the CEO and founder and I'm really passionate about helping entrepreneurs and small businesses understand the value or how to create valuable marketing. Um, we have to look at the whole picture, figuring out where are the missing missing parts of this? Uh, where do you need to improve to make sure that marketing is not just not one of these um, areas that you pump out money and uh, you don't know what the results are? And uh, I'm going to bring up a topic today that's called life cycle marketing and just briefly talk through that. And automation really nice plays really nice into that because life cycle marketing can be quite overwhelming when I present it. Oh, there's a lot. Then you really need to do all of this. I will um, show you how automation will help you to do all of it. Uh, you don't have to hire, hire a lot of people to do it. You just do it for the tool. And I will also help you how to show you how to prioritize what to do and, and, and uh, what to do first and how to approach, uh, approach it. So don't be scared away. We're here to, we're here to, uh, to get it. So um, today's, um, today's topic, of course, uh, is around sales and marketing automation. And what is that? Um, so the definition that I use for sales and marketing automation is the use of software to automate and simplify tasks. Tasks is quite a broad, uh, broad word. It can be emails, it can be actual tasks, things that you need to do. Um, it can be related to pipeline management, it can be quite broad, but you use the soft, you, you need to use the software to automate those processes. Don't do it manually, and in that way you get to you get to do more. Uh, you don't have to do the repetitive tasks because you have a system that does that for you, and you really save a lot of time. Uh, and please don't be scared of it either. It's not limited to companies with huge budgets uh, and a never-ending list of customers that they have so much they can't even handle it. It can really make a powerful impact on companies of all sizes. Um, and especially when you have companies where you don't have a lot of resources, you don't have a lot of time and you don't have a lot of money, so you can't hire, hire external resources to do a lot of the stuff that you might want to do. So it's better to, it's better to automate it. So I'm going to, through this, through the, through this presentation, hopefully, hopefully can demystify a little bit about, about that as well. Uh, at the bottom here, if someone wants to try, uh, like I'm going to show you quite a few examples of Keep, you'll see this little 
QR code coming up. Uh, the link is next to it. If you want to try Keep, I'll show you show you what it is. You can decide also later. Um, that link is a dedicated link from from my company. It gives you a free month, and after that, you will see on that link that it gives you a lot of other benefits as well: extra users, extra discounts, a lot of it. So, if you want to try Keep, I highly recommend using that link and not necessarily Keep's um, official pages because. Uh, the prices will be a lot higher and you will not get a free month. So that's uh, just a little recommendation if you want to try it. But yeah, it's a use of software to automate and simplify tasks. There's a lot of other softwares out there. I I, uh, I can advise on various software. I don't, I don't only know Keep, I know other softwares as well. I've tested a lot of softwares. I've been partners with other softwares. Just ended up um, finding that Keep was my, was my project uh, or for my client. Uh, so a little bit of a little bit of the background to why we look at life cycle marketing that I'm going to get into next, and why you would want automation because it's these are things that a lot of businesses can do. Um, it's not very difficult to automate, and you can you can gain a lot of business out of it. So the average client expects great service from small businesses. They really expect you to bend over backwards, and if you do that, you will see that you get a lot of referral. Uh, so this is a really nice little trick to just really be amazing on service. And a lot of little automation, tiny, tiny little automations that we can, that we can create there that really just makes it automatically uh, set up automatically for you. 89% uh, of people hire small businesses based on referrals. So referrals are important. You'll see when you come to lifecycle marketing, I have a little, uh, little graphic that I show referral and the priorities that we're going to get to at the bottom or, or at the end of the presentation, referrals is really, really powerful. And it's really because eight months will hire small businesses based on referrals. You ask your neighbor, who did you use for that? You ask your, uh, your colleague at work, who do you use for that? You ask your business, uh, you have other business people and you ask each other. So a lot of business is made from referrals. It's also the easiest leads to close. Uh, people want to trust you. So trustworthiness is uh, very important that you can depend on your supplier and expertise. So you really want to know that uh, the customer wants to know that you, you know what you're doing and that you're trustworthy and can deliver. So that's, that's important. And again, there's little things we can do within automation that really allows this in the, in, on the referral as well. Um, and 44% of potential clients, so they're showing interest in you, will not hire you if you don't follow up quickly. They might be requesting three quotes at the same time. They might be looking at other, other supplies of the same product. Um, it's, really, it's really important to follow up quickly. So the value of following up quickly uh, is, is great. That can be done also automatically. So I will show you, we'll show you that, that as well. Um, and if you are in a business, like a coaching business, et cetera, just added this on, uh, 36% of potential clients will not work with you if there's scheduling issues, like they can never get a hold of you. Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you move it to that time? Can you do it to this time? Uh, and they and they want might fall off. So trustworthy trust building is to be is the critical, um, which which uh, keep has a little feature for that as well. That applies if you have if you're in a business where you book meetings. So it could be a sales meeting, it can be a coaching session, it can be anything, but where, where people book meetings with you. And this is also some, uh, so the source is from 2018, but uh, these are quite general stats. So, so there should be, there should be, a, uh, if nothing else, there should be, there should be stronger. So this post uh, COVID. So life cycle marketing, um, it's about converting clicks into customers. It's really, really a powerful, a powerful strategy. Um, it's a framework uh, where you identify three key systems that, that, again, has nine phases over a customer journey. And a customer journey is just what does a potential client go through before they, before they, um, before they buy from you. So uh, in small businesses, uh, small business owners, medium businesses can use these systems to design your marketing strategy. It can help you also 
uh, help you identify what you need to what you need to do. Uh, where is your marketing falling through? Identifying all the different different elements and things like that to be able to convert clicks into customers. And very seldom we remember to look at all of these. Do you need to um, attract? Uh, just lure. I'm uh, more fan of the word attract potential uh, customers. Sell and deliver an, uh, an exceptional experience. And then at the end, with the referrals. So we want to make sure we get those referrals in there as well. So here is a little, a little graphic that I use to just explain what lifecycle marketing is, which elements are, are, um, are related, um, and, and how you really can work on it. So I'm going to quickly run through this. So I want to get to the automation part, but I just want to give you the foundations to what goes into converting clicks to customers so you understand, oh, this is quite a lot, but and then we simplify it with the little automations that you create to make it happen. And who doesn't want clients? At least, at least, at least I do. Um, so so it's, it's three major categories. We call it collecting leads, converting clients, and creating fans. And again, those, uh, those over uh, categories are, separa are separated into three subtopics. So collecting leads is about targeting the right client. And it's about attracting the right, uh, attracting that client that, you, that you're targeting. So having something of relevance to give them uh, a reason for them to, to come to you, uh, you really need to, to have it. Also to stand out from the crowd maybe, if someone is, is searching for a service that you can find everywhere, you want to make sure that, that, you, that you stand out and are attractive. Uh, for that, things like, uh, I will go into lead capture a little bit later, but um, a freebie or discounts, um, information, good information is the space to attract. And then you need to capture that, um, that lead. You need to have the contact details to be able to continue to, to connect with them. And that is a very important part of the next session, next category, which is converting clients. Uh, stats show, uh, you'll find various stats online, but the general that I, that I had going is that uh, five, uh, it takes five to 12 contact points for a client to, uh, for a lead to convert into a client. Uh, if they, if, obviously if they convert, because not every client will convert. So you really need to engage with them uh, quite a lot. You need to, you need to, you, if you expect uh, running an ad, it's going to give you a click or not even advertising, but a post on a social media is going to give you a click and that's going to be business, you will be disappointed. And you really need to focus on converting the clients through engaging with them, having something to offer them, remember to offer, offer them something, um, and then close, you know, sending that quote uh, within a reasonable time. I was, uh, I was asking for a quote about, uh, something oh, quite urgent um, yesterday and actually had to follow up today to get the quote, which is not good enough anymore because by that time I, I might have another quote. So it's really important to, to have the offer and to close. So following up on proposal sent, I have another one. There's so many examples of this. For another one uh, out, I wanted to, to, um, to create some custom, um, you know, there's this phone charges that you could just put your phone on. So I wanted to brand them, but Every client, every client that signs up um, with Keep for us, we wanted to give them this little power bank, that's the actual word, uh, that, uh, that says my, my business is powered by Keep. So, power and Keep. So, but the point was that uh, this lady never followed up with me. So I inquired and, and, and I asked her questions and she eventually forgot to follow up with me. Uh, and it took a long time. I'm like, oh, I really still need this. So I followed up again. Uh, I went on the chat and I, uh, said, you know, I've been in contact with this lady, but I haven't heard anything. Can you please you know, ask what's going on? Um, and then she contacted me again, and the conversation continued. And then I was going to fill out a form, and I didn't quite get around to it. I was a bit busy. And she, to this day, has not followed up, and that's probably about three weeks ago, this three, four weeks ago. So really important to make sure you close the business as well. Don't just send a proposal. Just Don't just get the inquiry in. Engage send an offer, follow up on the offer and close the client because you're spending time and effort into collecting, but closing. So Keep has little, little automations that helps you to do this. Uh, they have a feature called easy automations. I'll show you a video of that as well a little bit later. 
So it's really, really important to do this to close the business. And now the, the tasks are piling up. You need to spend money on targeting. You need to spend money on creating something that attracts. You need to spend money on registering and capturing your leads. You need to spend time on engaging with your, with your prospects. You need to spend time on offer them and close them. It's a lot to spend time on. Uh, and we're not, I worked in sales and we're not very, it's difficult to be very organized when it comes to this. We think we are, but we lose out on a lot of business. And that is generally because we don't have a system. So this is a lot of things that people know they need to do. What we really focus on as well, and it's a lot of easy wins, is that if a client of ours has, has customers, so they're not brand new, we focus a lot on creating fans. Fans give you uh, more business and they give you referrals. And it's so important. We saw how many, 89% um, of business coming from, uh, of people making decisions is when they um, so it's really, really important. This is where the low-hanging fruit is. This is where people forget that, that, that marketing and automation plays a role. And it's such simple automations. I promise you, I'll show you some examples of this. And it's, oh, can that make a difference? Yes, it can. And you don't have to spend time on it because you can automate it. Uh, so it's about delivering on your promises and then impress by delivering above the promises and then multiply the business. Multiply. Get a subscription lasting longer, get an additional sale, get a referral, uh, get the stuff in that actually gen generates new leads again as well. So that's why it goes, goes back to collecting leads again. Uh, you, you're engaging, you are creating fans, and you are getting new leads from that. In our business, we had a very good stage there. We, um, we get more most of our business from referrals. We don't actively you know, chase, uh, chase customers or advertise to get customers. We get and you only can, you can only do that if you can deliver if you deliver good service. You will not get recommendations if your service is not good. Uh, and it doesn't have to be. It doesn't it really doesn't have to be difficult. To be awesome. So why sales and marketing automation? We spoke a little bit about lifecycle marketing, and yes, it's a lot to spend time on. Uh, but that's why we need to automate it uh, and really simplify it. And I will show you how to, how simple it can really. And this, the stuff that I'm going to show you is things that is proven to make a big impact, small things that make a big impact for a business. I won't focus on the massive advanced automations because there's really small things that can make a big difference. You can create big, massive automations as well. And we do it all the time for our clients. But to get started, that's not what you want to do. You want to do the quick wins that really helps you generate uh, business quickly. So sales and marketing automation, it really eliminates hours of repetitive tasks. You don't have to do things again. There's a lot of things that piled up we saw from life cycle marketing, but you can really automate it and eliminate hours. So it also then allows you to grow without adding employees. We were doing sales for a company. We could do by using a system and automation, we could quadruple the amount of leads that one person could manage. And that automatically quadruples the, the revenue per sales person. You don't have to hire new people. Uh, and also, if you have a commission, if you have a commission structure in place, the salesperson will actually make more money. So everyone wins. You win because you get more business. Your salesperson wins because they get more commission. So it's really, a, really a nice, a nice, uh, nice approach. Um, yeah, and, and more than 25% of your day could be wasted by not doing it. So for me, I, I automate so much of my day. I think it's more than 25 um, I, I don't, I can't even, it plans for me. It just tells me I have these tasks popping up. You need to do this and do this. Uh, so really claim that time back, be efficient. Uh, get time for your family, get time to grow your business, get time for whatever you like to do. Um, claim that time back. Uh, and across industries, so this is more of a, or more of a global, a global stat. And nearly 80% of top performing companies use marketing automation. Uh, and that is, increasing. Um, can't quite remember when this stat is from, but uh, top performing companies are using automations. It's just the way it is. But it doesn't mean that you have to be a, um, a, um, a massive company to do it. But if your company is performing well, uh, it's usually because you are using automation. So you want to spend less time on, on the repetitive tasks, mundane tasks, and more time on focusing on growing. 
and then you need a software because I said automate mark sales and marketing automation is about using a software. And this is, uh, so Keep Again is one such system and you will find the link there at the bottom again if you want to try it. But what should a software be doing for you? Uh, it should contain a CRM module to capture contact details. Um, and the CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. It's a, system, it's a system to store your customer data. So you know who's a lead, who's a customer, uh, how far are they in the purchase process, uh, what are their contact details? What are they showing interest in? Um, so it's, 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 it's actually a system that shows you the, your contacts and um, should be able to segment that information as well. So you should really should be able to, to divide your contact into who's interested in what, who's a customer, who's a lead, and, um, and systemize that. It should allow you to automate processes. That's what you're talking about today. So it really should allow you to automate processes. Uh, you should, for example, if you promise someone a lead magnet, um, a lead magnet is something that attracts their clients. So it can be, say, a free ebook. I can show you an example of that later. Um, automatically send them that, that ebook and add them to the appropriate campaign afterwards, appropriate automation afterwards. That, the system should be doing that for you. It really should be, you should not spend time on sending these things out and follow up with them. You should have a system that follows up. Um, and also by segmenting your contacts, you can focus on, on upselling to existing customers uh, and ask for referrals, or uh, you can uh, focus on leads. You can, uh, you can focus on which, what did they show interest in. If you have more than one product or service, you can customize your, your approach. It really doesn't have to be a lot, uh, but doing something makes a big difference, yeah. So just the getting started. And I'll show you in a video how easy it is. So as I mentioned, one such system is Keep. I'll show you a quick video just to, just to show you what, uh, what, this is a little bit, it's made by Keep, but it's, um, it's what, also what is sales and marketing automation. So why do you want the system like that? So I'm gonna just play it here and, uh, and you can see, um, see what it is, just so you have an idea of what Keep is. There, there's others out there, but those things I mentioned on the previous slide, Think that you should be should be having a look at. All right, listen up, everybody. I want to talk about Keep. It's going to change your life. Keep is a sales and marketing automation tool that helps you collect more leads, convert more clients, and create more fans. Uh, hey there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already have some of that. Email marketing, appointment tools, etc. But getting them to work together is a pain. It does it automatically. I got my. I switch things up. I lose sales. Your process is unsustainable, Terry. You haven't slept in three days. Terry, that is working. I'm too busy and important to just move and go with the new platform and learn it. Well, that's the magic of Keep Jump. They offer one on one coaching where they show you exactly how to use the platform to achieve your growth goals. Show me what to do. <laughs> so, if I want to get more information, Keep automatically brings their information from your website, your social media, and your CRM. What if I want better results? Keep identifies who's most likely to buy, then sends automated emails and moves them through your marketing funnel while you're just getting started. Wait, wait, wait. That was today? I don't want my clients getting cookie cutter emails. My emails have personality. That's wonderful. Keep's advanced automation lets you segment clients a bunch of different ways by activity, preferences, likeliness to buy. So every interaction feels like it's coming from your special personality. That sounds great. The business is about closing. How do I get to yes? Keep sales pipelines and follow ups, scheduled appointments, and create tasks for your team automatically for more leads and the things to be done. So I've got this problem where people don't always pay me on time. So have Keep automatically sends quotes, invoices, and payment reminders. How about after the sale? I specialize in generating repeat customers. So Keep creates more repeat business by sending automated thank you messages, loyalty offers, and even asking for referrals. I like it. Yeah, these are great and all, but what about more strategic goals? Like, I'm thinking of selling some of my free on offer. Your growth expert will craft a personalized playbook that'll show you exactly how to make that happen. Whoa. It's not just about automation, it's about using automation to grow your business in the best way possible. Keep can help, so get in touch. How'd you get that? What's the game that you? Uh, we're in a product video. You didn't pick up on that? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It started at keep.com today.
Hopefully you've got an idea uh, of what keep is at least, you know, they have a little bit of humor going on there. I am, um, I, there's a lot of videos also on YouTube. Um, you know, that, that Terry, the, the, the one guy there in the video, it's so, it's something I see a lot, especially in small businesses. People have, they think they'll have a system that they that, that, that think works for, that works for them. But it really is inefficient. You know, post-it notes are everywhere, and um, it works. It, it might work in the beginning, but it will. It will. You will grow out of it. Uh, it will limit growth. So the top performing companies, remember that stat. They're using automation to get this done. So it's really, it's really, um, it's really powerful. Uh, so how to create? How do you create an automation? You know, you're talking, Ines, you're talking about these automations. How do you create an automation? <laughs> automations is not, uh, doesn't have to be more uh, advanced than if this happens, then do this. Uh, so how do you create an automation? It's just little screenshots that I have from, from Keep again. Uh, so either you can choose from a pre-built temp campaign, uh, we call them campaigns, automation templates, or start a custom one. So Keep has a lot of pre-built templates in for, for the standard automations that, that you want to use. And that is a lot of those automations I'm talking about. The little small things that just does that lifecycle marketing for you. It helps you do it. And then you can build it out from there if you want to. But, uh, but there's a lot of built-in templates for the, for the normal business process. Most people don't use. So you, do you, you either choose from a pre-built template or you start a custom one. Uh, then you define when action, what should start the automation. So on the green box at the top here on the left-hand side is, for example, a deal enters a stage. Then you might want to do something. Or a deal is added. You add a deal to the system. Uh, someone has approached you via your website and they inquired about the services and the deal is added. Then you might want to, to, um, to do something. You might want to uh, send maybe a little bit of back and forth and then you want to send uh, a document to to maybe a signature, so that's also a low signing protection. Or you want to add a tag, or you want to send an email. You want to do something. So that is your then action. So you can trigger either an immediate response. So immediately when someone approaches you via your website, uh, you can send them. Here's a link to here's a link to my calendar to book a call, for example. Uh, or you can build in a time delay, like wait, waiting three days before you send an invoice reminder, waiting three days. Before you, before you follow up on a proposal sent, things like that. So that is your then actions. And it's really made to, to, be, to be easy to use. And if you want to, you can define a stopping point. So if you want someone to book an appointment with you, when that appointment is booked, you don't want to remind them to book that appointment with you. You do want to have a reminder sequence to book appointments. If someone fills out a form, they say, yeah, yeah I want to book an appointment, please. I say, I give them the link. And if they don't book that appointment, I want to follow up with them. That's way back to where that follow up becomes so important. But it could be automated. So it's built in automatic templates for these specific campaigns already in Keep. So you don't really have to build them. You just fill in the information that you want. That's really easy, super easy to use. I'm going to show you um, another another video as well, just to illustrate. So I'm focusing a lot on the on the simpler automations. Not, not the really advanced ones, because advanced ones can be quite creative. And this, I love making them because it's a lot of fun to generate or to, to, to generate campaigns that really take more advanced business processes. But these are really the quick ones. So, so Keep made something they call easy automations. They have advanced automations and easy automations. And easy, easy automations is templated campaigns that you can use, um, that you can use to, to generate the campaigns you want. When you sign up for this, for this uh, free month, you see that little uh, icon at the bottom there in the link, you have access to all of this, all of it, uh, right away. And you can, you can cancel, uh, just cancel if you don't wanna, wanna continue or you can continue. If you continue, you will still get 50 percent off. But go in there and try it. Have a look at what's called easy automations and have a look at how easy it is to, to generate these processes. I really, really recommend that, that you go in and try it, try it out. So I'm going to play this video as well, which shows you um, an overview of what it's all about.
This is a really when then super easy when then and it's set up also also the campaigns comes with recommendations as you go you might want to do this and this this and this might want to be your next step so it really really makes it easy to create automations that you can get from the get -go, that you can use from the get-go just go in and you just use it. it really helps you so when you start all it really helps you go through the through the setup and everything so it's super super easy to use uh, a little bit back to a few of the elements of the of the of the life cycle marketing. Uh, we're going to go into into the three elements separately. So it's all about converting clicks to customers. And I'm just trying to encourage you to you, you go in and try these automations. But what should, what should you be focusing on? And what what should you be doing uh, when you approach your your app or your or another app? 96% um, of your website visitors will not buy on the first. So you need to capture the details. Uh, I will show you as well that Keep, uh, I'll show you some examples a little bit later. That Keep has uh, templates also for landing pages that you can build that helps you capture someone's details. You need to capture the details. Uh, you must make sure you have the opportunity to interact with them uh, and, and in that way build the trust, remind them of the value and benefit and the quality of uh, using you as a supplier. So lead generation uh, is really about generating the traffic to your website. So maybe the ads or the content and a lot of the stuff that most people are doing, but also capturing the contact information. So it's super important to capture the contact information. So at the bottom is a little graphic again that shows you a typical journey, uh, a short version, is that you have an ad on Facebook. Someone is clicking on that ad. They get to a landing page that is specific for that ad because it increases the convert chances of conversion. That landing page captures the leads uh, or the lead um, and takes them into nurturing so that they have the opportunity to become a lead. People are very distracted these days. They don't really remember what they showed interest in and, and they get very distracted. So you need to nurture them uh, into the new class. So here's an example of such uh, of such uh, a campaign. This is a free ebook download. So it's a it's a lead capture campaign. I will show you after this what a landing page might look like. So here in the first green dot, you see ebook download request. So it's a landing page where people the people fill in to to download an ebook. So this is a templated uh, campaign that we give away to to our clients. This is specifically made for coaches and consultants, uh, but it's about to promote the ebook. And, and and give uh, give the digital copy that you that they sign up for. So there's a two email sequence that uh, delivers the ebook. And why is it two? Because if they if they didn't download it on the first mail, I wait a little bit and I send them again so that it can download on the second mail. But if they download on the first mail, they will not receive the second mail. That is the logic there. So if they have link clicked, they will not receive. Uh, they will move on to the campaign, and then I take them into the conversion campaign. So that is just making sure that they convert from only downloading the ebook to actually uh, having the uh, potential to become a client, which is quite important. When you spend money on creating uh, creating material and advert ads, you want to make sure that these people convert into clients. So that is what it looks like. So this is this is built not in the builder that's not in the easy automations builder, but it's quite an easy automation still. It's built more in an advanced builder. That's what we do in Canvas, yeah. So this is examples of landing pages. What is a landing page? So you want to capture someone's details. The best way to do so is through a form on your website, which you can create forms as well in, in Keep, but you can also create landing pages. So here's examples of templates. So there's quite a lot of templates in Keep. This is just a little, a little exa uh, some examples of here you have a free chapter in a book that you can buy. Here you have a digital agency lead generation. Uh, video library subscription here is where you can buy a product directly so instead of having the product on maybe your, your website you want to have that you have a special deal on it you don't want to really put it on your website maybe only your your leads should have this deal and not your existing clients so you don't want to put it on your website um you create you create this these pocket pages to sell a product there's a lot of templates that are that i keep and you just change the pictures and it's very easy drag and drop feature uh, that you use, and here is an example of one that that uh, we use Pine Tree to to register for um, 
for a webinar. Uh, and you see here just a little bit of text and a little form, and we use we use the templated um, little section here with four in a row. So it really is easy. It's a lot of templated sections that you can just use. So landing pages are really good for uh, for for making more specific pages for your uh, for your ad. This part of your automation, because once someone fills in that landing page, like we saw in the previous one, um, the person automatically goes into the CRM. Whatever you want to happen after, if it's delivering an ebook, if it's reminding them of the webinar, will automatically happen. So it's an entry gate into your automation. So one of them. Then we have what, what happens thereafter to convert the clicks to customers. Well, first of all, uh, you need to stay in touch. You really need to know when to follow up and how on earth do you know that? Well, I'm gonna get to that. Um, and also email marketing, please do not spam uh, people. Uh, one of the most cost efficient ways to, to do marketing is through email. Uh, it's still very eff effective, uh, but the key here is to send the right information to the right person at the right time. So you have that customer journey. You need to understand where are they in the customer journey? Is this an existing customer? Are they about to make a purchase decision? Or are they uh, just became a lead and they don't really know me and don't even build trust? So the different content for the different, for the different sections. And this again, now so in that whole life cycle marketing, it's gonna be quite a lot of content um, or quite a lot of emails. So you don't want to, you don't want to sit and do this manually. You want to create them and then reuse them again and again. And that way it saves time. You can build them out as you go. So that is uh, so that is quite important to, to, to do. And it also gives you those extra contact points. I was mentioning the five to 12 contact points. You have to, you, you get them through staying in touch, in touch, knowing when to follow up, and also through the email marketing and other, uh, there's other ways as well, but there's these other ones that we that we really can automate a lot around. So knowing when to follow up, yeah, how do you do that? <laughs> Spend time on leads that are ready to buy. Um, don't, don't forget leads that uh, are not ready to buy. They're still in your automations. But spend less on time, uh, spend time on leads that are actually ready to buy. And remember to follow up on leads. Um, so only 10% of sales pe uh, salespeople make more than three contacts. And this is when you use a manual process. While 80% of sales are made on the fifth to 12 contacts. So very few people um, follow up enough. And this is where automation comes in. So if you send manual emails, you can get, now I'm nagging, I'm doing this, I don't know what to write. If you have it automated, you can have three emails in a row in a sequence that are just automated to build trust, telling them how good the product is, et cetera. Then already you have an additional three contacts. You don't need to push for the sale. You can see, then you can see, are they clicking on my emails? Well, then most likely they're more interested. So now I should I should give them a phone call, for example. So it can help you. Uh, it can help you define when should you make a phone call, and that can be automated. I can have uh, someone uh, fills in fills in my form uh, on my website on my landing page. They get say five emails uh, talking about how great and why they should have the product and building trust, building trust. Um, and then I might have a trigger that if they open. Uh, all the mails or three of the mails, whatever I want to want it to be, then my sales staff is going to phone up with them. So I phone, phone them. So that increases the chances of that salesperson actually closing the sale as well. So again, the salesperson spends less time uh, on phoning people that are not ready to buy. So they phone the people that are ready to buy, they close them because they phoned at the right time. And you have a success factor for your employees as well because they end up closing more. Um, lead nurturing uh, is also, it's not, a two, it's not only newsletters. They seldom work when you write uh, one email to a lot, a lot of people because it's not, not necessarily personalized enough. So you should be segmenting, segmenting your database and uh, streamline your communication. Uh, this can also be automated. You can have, um, you can have certain, certain <clears throat> from certain actions, you can have certain people going into various various threads of, of your newsletter. Um, yeah, and, and don't forget to nurture your actual customers in addition to your leads. It's just an illustration to show how a lot of people do this, one mail to many, but when you do one mail, 
through segmented groups, people experience that email much more often. And then we want to have uh, customer nurturing in, um, to make sure that we get more business. Now we're over, over to the multiplier, how to get more business out of existing business. So this is, this is an element that is really low hanging fruit. Follow up with your, with your customers after the purchase. The power of a thank you for your purchase. Don't ignore it. So you can have in your, in your, in your Keep app, you can have registered, okay, someone has purchased. So immediately uh, you have an automation going out or maybe three hours later saying, thank you so much for your purchase. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Then you might have a timer for about a month. After a month, you send another email saying, hey, it's about a month since you purchased, just wanted to make sure that everything's in order. And then you might have six months later or a year later, or whenever maybe it's, they will be due to, to buy more from you, depending on what kind of product you have, you follow up with them again. All of this is automated. You don't have to remember to do it. This, but this really generates an impression of you as a, as a very, um, a business that looks after your clients. So it's, uh, it's really important to follow up with your customers after the purchase, because those customers are gonna, gonna give you repeat business. But segment your, your customers into happy and unhappy customers. Uh, ask your happy customers for, for referrals and make sure you deal with your unhappy customers appropriately. Again, you can automate that. We have, a, I'm gonna show you uh, an example after, after the slide. Then ask for reviews. Uh, let it be what we call the trigger campaign. So it's triggered by the fact that someone was happy um so when someone is indicating that they're happy with your services then you only send that campaign you don't send it to them so you really want that to be a trigger campaign uh, focus on the platforms where your customers are most active so if your customers are on facebook ask ask for reviews for facebook if your customers uh, come mainly from google ask for reviews on google keep also has a google review integration so you can send uh, you can monitor as well you can ask for a review and when they're given a review you stop uh, stop asking uh, then referrals campaign, a referral campaign should also be automated, should be part of that automated follow-up after, after a purchase. At some point, you should ask your clients if they're happy, if they wouldn't mind referring you, uh, referring you um, and maybe give them an incentive, incentive to do so. And this is really a nice task to automate because it's not very really nice to ask for referrals. It's a bit awkward. But it's really nice to automate. So all of this can literally be three emails, um, that, that you use. And we give you, uh, we do give you templates for these campaigns, so you don't have to design them yourself. And there's also an e also easy, easy automations, as we saw in the video, for uh, how to ask for reviews and referrals. So here is an example of, uh, so now into the advanced automation again, but uh, this is how, how it can look. So the first, the first top green, um, green circle, is just uh, my trigger that I must send someone the feedback survey. I ask for feedback and I do it again in two emails because if they don't see the first one, I want to ask them again. But if they do see the first one, I don't want to send it again. And I have uh, three links. I have one link they click if they're satisfied, one link if they're neutral, and one link if they're dissatisfied. If they are satisfied, you see how now I'm starting to segment my, my recipients. If they are satisfied, they get now in the top right there, in the green, no, the, the gray, uh, the gray box at the right top. Uh, if they're satisfied customers, I follow up appropriately and I ask them for, for the for the to give me a Google review and I do the appropriate appropriate follow-up um, depending uh, based on the fact that they are satisfied. If they are neutral, they will uh, they will receive neutral follow-up. So maybe I will uh not ask them for a review maybe i will ask them for a review you can just uh, adjust that as you want but i update it that they're neutral i want maybe i want to try to impress them with something extra then you have um dissatisfied customers you will have uh people that are not happy and for that i immediately generate a task for myself i automatically generate a task it will pop up it will email notify me if i want to that i need to follow up with the unhappy 
so to just wrap up a little bit, um, this is uh, just back to the life cycle marketing. This is just a different, different, uh, showing in a different way, more linear. You want to generate traffic. You want to capture that traffic. You want to systemize the sales conversion with automation. You want to make it easy to purchase. Uh, you want to really impress your client and upsell and get referrals. You want to use long-term nurturing and do not forget to re-engage unconverted leads. So you have people going into your, into your system. Make sure that you engage with them. You have you create automation campaigns for that as well. Uh, more longer-term nurturing, re-engage. Then the priority path is quite interesting because we don't start with generating new traffic to your, to your business, which a lot of businesses are already doing. We focus on if someone has an existing list, we re-engage it. It's a lead that you already have collected. It's the cheapest ones you have. And we do usually start off with some kind of email, email information on them because it's really, really cheap. Once you start to generate uh, or you will start to generate then business on that, it allows you to, do, to maybe um, spend more on other things that might cost money. Uh, if it's creating a new, um, a new deal, if it's giving a discount to get more leads, et cetera. So, so it's really, it's really a focus to re-engage quite early when, the, when this one. Then we make sure that, um, that leads are captured properly, that, that someone has a system uh, like Keep to capture leads. Um, and also during implementation of Keep, this is, this is really our priority path to make sure that everyone got this sorted and to systemize your sales conversion. So we do one-on-one we do -on -one calls uh, where we figure out how does your sales cycle work and which automations should you be focusing on first to get your results. Then we focus on how is your delivery of service? And you can think, well, that's not marketing. Well, it should be. Because if, if you're not delivering, delivering great service or delivering um, nice follow-ups, et cetera, we often for, for assist in creating easy follow-ups, um, you won't get the referrals. Uh, and those are really cheap, low-hanging low fruits as well, if your delivery is great. Uh, then we make sure you ask happy customers for referrals. Uh, we don't want to lose out on that. We might focus then on upselling to existing customers. Yeah, all of these elements are part of the last phase of lifecycle marketing. And it is so important because it's uh, people that already, you already built the trust. So it's really, really easy to generate, generate business. Then we look at it's easy to make a purchase, uh, make it easier if it's too difficult. Uh, looking at how do you nurture your prospects and customers uh, more in detail, a little bit longer tail, longer tail automations. And then, only then, we start to generate new traffic to your business because then your business is ready to receive it. It's ready to convert it without you having to work too hard. So it's really, really um, important. So how do you get started? Um, you, un you must understand the value of life cycle marketing. You must understand that generating business is not just putting an ad out there. Understanding that you need to follow up. You need to, create, to have a, a really, really good customer experience um, for existing customers. So that is really, really important. Then get an automation tool. Because sales and marketing autom automation is about using a software to, to um, automate and simplify the process. So get an automation tool to help you stay organized. Again, you can try Keep if you want to. You will see on that landing page there on Keep, there's quite a few extra things that is offered. So don't go to Keep directly. Um, this is a lot better pricing than what you get there. It's, a, it's half price, actually. Uh, but you also get a free month uh, before you have to make a decision. It comes with no commitment whatsoever. You can cancel it anytime. Uh, and you get a lot of other extras. You get implementation help. We help you, we help you with the one-on-one -on -one time to set it up for your business. All of this we can do during your free month. You don't have to, to pay to get, um, to get, all, of this, uh, get all of this help to then decide if you want to continue. All included. Uh, so get started with the basics. I'll show you one way to do that. There's a little challenge at the end of the month that you might see that you might be interested in. So um, again, uh, keep, uh, get your sales and marketing automation software. Don't have to get this specific one, but, uh, but it's one that I highly recommend. It was um, voted by Business News Daily as the best CRM for ease of use. So it's also CRM in addition to 
to your marketing and uh, automation uh, software. You can start for free. Uh, I've given you the link many times. Uh, if you like to continue with Keep after that, you do get a, get a great, great deal. Uh, you get a 50% discount, you get additional contacts, you get additional users, we give you a bunch of templates um, that you can use, a bunch of campaign templates that you can use and we help you help you get them, get them implemented. Uh, and you get a free campaign to ask for referrals. We also give you some, some tools to help you to help you with your target group as well. So that is just some of the things that you, that you can do uh, to get started. So your first step is to try for free because it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, then uh, to get started, get started, don't think too advanced. At the end of the month, we're running an, an automate your communication challenge. It's a three day challenge. It's only one hour a day. Uh, and it's from the 23rd until the 25th of November. And we will get your first automation campaign launched during this time. So if you want to join this, um, please be in touch after the slide. I'm gonna give you all the, all the details that you can to be in touch. We promise you will have your first automation going uh, if you join if you join the challenge. So here is our contact information if you want to check it out. Uh, we have uh, info at Pine Tree Marketing. We are on Facebook under Pine Tree Marketing. We are on LinkedIn. Um, it's my name there or under Pine Tree Marketing. You will find us. Of course, we have a website as well, PineTreeMarketing.com. Please, uh, if you if you want to join the challenge. Just let me or my team know through any of these these channels, and I will give you the um, and I will give you all the details for for that as well. So um, please be in touch. Don't know if there's any any questions. Um, I'm very open to have questions. If you have anything about how to get started, softwares, um, uh, I'll try my best to answer. 